Hey, I'm Carissa Kay, and welcome to another episode of Hey, I Seen That. Today, I will review No Time to Die, James Bond. Such a good film. <laughs> true to the Game, one, and True to the Game, two. So, stay tuned. Not target enough people. And the people become the weapon. Ah! What is it? You don't know what this is? Okay, I'm excited about this one. Let's talk about 007 James Bond, No Time to Die. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about that movie was good to the good, good to the real good, good. Let's talk about the story, okay? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's talk about some other stuff first. Okay, so this film was directed by Carrie Fukunaka. It starred Daniel Craig, Lashana Lynch, Ana de Armos, and Rami Malik. I mean, the cast was superb, as usual, um, in James Bond. The music was on shizzle for nizzle. And um, the action was on peak flake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was so whack. But anyways, let's talk about the story. So we have 007. He's on, he's, he's retired. He's done. He done tapped out. Another one of ladies that he don't fell in love with crossed him. You know, he feels heartbroken and devastated because he really felt that this particular woman was the one. But unfortunately, he got double crossed again, right? So he's just out fishing and they have some nice fish too. I can't remember what, what what kind of fish that was, but they were big and they looked really fresh. Anyways, um, he's just enjoying his time off, but his CIA pal, Felix, had to reach out to him because they needed his help. There's another evil villain, honey, that got a hold of some, uh, uh, what you wanna call this, chemical, chemical warfare, all right? And this particular chemical is tied to individual DNAs and it just caused people to die. And once you get it on you and these, um, I think they were calling them nanobots or whatever, they stay on your skin. So people were going to, to funerals and Individuals that attend the funeral and got close to the dead body was getting um, infected and they were dying. So this was like a really major um, epidemic and Felix needed James Bond to help him get to the bottom of this and discover what was going on. During all of this mayhem, as usual, with any James Bond um, film, there has to be a woman that steps in to, you know, either ruffle James's feathers, get underneath his skin, or get him all, you know, mustered up. Well, he had a little bit of all that happening in this movie. Anywho, out came the new 007 in her glory of blackness. Mm. Yes, the new 007, you heard me right, is a black woman. And I'm not just talking about any old black woman. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's levels to the blackness, unfortunately, but it is. She is dark, luscious, Chocolate, honey. Okay, sister girl is giving us body, body, yaddy, 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 and attitude right along with it. Okay, and she gave us a little white gone, you know. Um, what me wanna say, man, you know, some Jamaican West Indian accents. Yes, she was doing it. Uh, I enjoyed her a great deal, and that is Lashana. Make sure I'm saying her name right. 
say your name right, Queen. I'm going to say it right. Lashana Lynch. Okay. Introduce Lashana Lynch, honey. And as the new 007. And I mean, I think everybody was at all in the theater. I mean, you could buy here rat piss on cotton. They was like, what? The new 007 is a black bitch? For real. <laughs> sitting there like, yup, I just knew she was going to die at the end of the movie. I just knew she was going to die. But who knows? You have to tune in. <laughs> Anywho, um, the story just, it, it, it goes on and on. You have your fast cars. I mean, you know in any 007 movie, the cars have to be tripped out. And of course, all the vehicles he had was tripped out. Minus one vehicle, which we all know in the world was a Toyota um, SUV. I'm not sure if it was a RAV4 or another version of, you know, one of the Toyota SUVs. However, it was um, off-roading in the mountains and the hills, going through water the whole nine. And that Toyota stood the test of time. So if you out riding in your Toyota, honey, keep your head up because Toyotas are dependable. Do you understand? Okay. Anywho. Um, he had lots of um explosions and 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 shooting. I mean, you just don't get any better in that with action films. So James Bond, hmm, I'm giving this James Bond six peaches. I'm telling you, I'm giving it six peaches. And you got to hang in to hear what I feel are the fucked up in the gang moments in this James Bond film. You gotta hang in. You gotta hang in. So let's get on to the next film. Gina, how you doing? How do you know my name? Rollins, right? Wonder is paid. He's a millionaire. I had my share of drug deal millionaires. And you like him, Gina, don't you? Well, Gina, she got you feeling some kind of way? I just like. All right. So now let's talk about True to the Game. One. True to the Game. Um, it's directed by Preston Whitmore, starred Columbus Short, Vivica Fox, Erica Peoples. And I watched this on um, BET, okay? So let's talk about this story. Um, True to the Game is about a um, drug lord who was... Um, not the traditional type of drug lord. He managed to stay under the radar. He was very business savvy and um, very secretive and selective in the individuals that he had around him. Um, at first sight, you would look at him and say, well, he has it together and he had a plan and um, he was definitely delivering on that. So here comes the new hungry, people who want to get put on and willing to do whatever it takes to be put on. And these individuals just caused drama. They just stirred up so much mess um, from killing individuals in order to make their name known so that the drug lord knew that he needed to put them on or else. So, um... This film had, you know, uh, some drama, you know, some murder. Uh, the story was, the story itself wasn't uh, that original, you know. Uh, you kind of seen bits and pieces from this story in um, other films, however, it was really great to see Columbus Short, who played the lead character in the film. He was definitely uh, entertaining and, you know, you just really couldn't keep your eye off of him. I think that in um, this particular film, Columbus Short definitely had the standout performance and, um, he really um, was carrying the the film. I am going to rate True to the Game um, one with two peaches. 
Um, True to the Game is a three part um, saga. And um, I'm gonna talk about number two next. Um, number three, I'm going to have to um, catch that um, so I can definitely review that as well. But if you haven't had the chance to catch it and you miss seeing Columbus Short on film, check it out because he is definitely giving us a um, stellar performance in True to the Game 1. All right, let's talk about True to the Game 2. No, we didn't have insurance. My shipment you was transporting. That's $1 million of my money. Gina Robbins. Rumor has it, she's sitting on a pot of gold. I need to find out because I need that money. So, this film was directed by um, Jamal Hill. It starred, again, Vivica Fox, um, Andre um, Fuller, Rodney, and um, Erica Peoples. And also, Columbus Short. <laughs> All right, so part two is taking place. Um, it's 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 going to the West Coast. That's right, it's going to the West Coast. It's picking up with um, Andrea um, Peoples' character. I mean, with Erica Peoples' character. Um, her character had picked up the pieces from everything that went down in um, part one. Now she's moving on with her life and pulling it together and she's become a successful executive and she's been put on assignment to go out to California. And on her trip to California, her new life and um, new world is about to be tested. So in part two, uh, it follows Erica out to California on her assignment. And one of the villains from episode one, the new drug lord that took over the game, he has some unfinished business with Erica's character. And he really wanted to um, go out there and get what he feels is rightfully his, and that is the money. Mm -hmm. It all boils down to money. So in this particular um, uh, film, there's a lot of deceit. You know, the character um, played by Erica Peoples, she is unknowing, unknowing to what uh, this man is, 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 is doing, what his initial plot for her is she is intrigued by him you know and slowly opening up her heart but she was definitely grieving um columbus short's character well let me tell you let me tell you i'm gonna have to do a spoiler on this one because i think part two was actually better than part one and um word on the street part three is actually better than one and two so i mean yeah so uh Listen, we thought Columbus Short was dead, yo, but he had to come in and save the day. But it was just a whole lot more to this particular story than, you know, meets the eye. So um, I'm going to give True to the Game 2 a total of four stars. <laughs> I'm giving True to the Game 2 four stars. So you definitely... All right, it's time for fucked up in the game. Fucked up, uh, fucked up. Oh, yes. Okay, back to James Bond. No time to die. Fucked up in the game. It's number one, watching your best friend die. Yes, 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 yes. James Bond had to watch one of his close dear friends pass away. And it was just touching. But again, you know that if James Bond could have saved his friend, he would have saved his friend. But in that particular situation, he had to choose himself. And his friend was like, yo, just go without me. Just go without me. And James did. 
So that was definitely fucked up. Too fucked up in the game moment. Now, all this time we don't have James Bond. All these 007s throughout all these years. And none of them have ever had a child. But this James Bond don't fuck up and knock some bitch up. And honey, got a baby. Yes, this particular James Bond has a child. And what's fucked up about this situation is he finds out about this baby at the worst time possible. Here this man is sobbing and, and, and unraveling an evil plot and trying to piece together whether or not this woman that he's been in love with, did she really deceive him or was he misled? Uh, and then he discovers that he got a baby that has his eyes. Y'all ladies got to do better. That's all I got to say. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. It's fucked up. Y'all women got to do better. Y'all having these babies. Y'all got to let these men know about their kids. Now, now if you know that the man ain't worth shit, you shouldn't even fucking have the baby. That's, that, that's like, you know, what the fuck? But then too, okay, let's say that you want to have a baby because you don't want to abort the baby. You want to keep the baby. Okay, all right, all right. That's your choice. That's your right. Okay. But you got to let the daddy know the child exists. Now, if he a loser, just let him know. Yo, listen, I'm just letting you know you got a child. Okay, I don't even want to fuck with you right now. So why don't you just let me go ahead and get her to high school. And then gives you time to get your shit together. And if you got your shit together, then you can come in and get a chance to build a relationship with your kid. But right now, while this baby is growing and exorbitant information, I don't need her to be exposed to a fucking loser. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all bitches got to have these conversations with these men and stop fucking, um, you know, deceiving them and shit. But anyways, let's go on to the next fucked up in the game moment with um, True to the Game. All right, so let's talk about what's fucked up in the game and True to the Game 1. And uh, similar to James Bond, it's having your best friend murdered. Damn. I mean, that's the common theme so far. Yeah, having your best friend murdered. Someone that you, that was your ride or die, you know, um, getting murdered is um, definitely fucked up. And um, two is witnessing someone being shot and murdered right in front of you and not being able to talk about it or or tell the police out of fear for your own life and your own family safety um that's like really fucked up in the game um let's get to what was fucked up and true to the game uh two true to the game two fucked up in the game moments is um uh being set up to get your money stolen. I mean, <laughs> say what? Being set up to get your money stolen is like so fucked up. You know, this is like um, a movie, but still people doing this shit for real. You know, you can't talk about your pockets out in these streets because you don't know who the fuck plotting on you. Motherfuckers is plotting on your come up. Like, you can't um, talk about your success or anything with, with, with folks that don't even have what you have or more, you know, you know, um, but again, um, that was um, a fucked up in the game moment and um, true to the game too. But then too, what's fucked up is, you know, I spoiled that, you know, I wasn't going to do that, but I did anyway. So, oh, well, um, is, uh. Finding out that your boyfriend that you don't grieve that went to the funeral and you know was just oh just 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 stressed out about you know being dead, finding out that he's alive. 
I know you didn't do that. Really? Really? I mean, that's fucked up. Okay, that has to be an emotional roller coaster ride slash dry fucked in the ass with um cornmeal type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like what really? Really though. You're not dead. Fool, I cry boogers and tears over you and you alive. Well, <laughs> That is a fucked up in the game moment and true to the game too. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the films that I talked about today. I hope you take the time out to catch one of these movies. You got James Bond, No Time to Die, True to the Game, One and Two with the one and only Columbus Short and Miss Vivica motherfucking Fox, okay? So y'all got some movies to go and sit down and, 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 and check out and let me know what you think about these films, okay? So again, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me and tuning in. And don't forget to take some time for yourself. Sit back, relax, and watch a movie with me, Carissa K. All right? Hey, I've seen that. Bye, y'all. <laughs>